double xp is upon us again and yet again a major release will follow in this video i'll be telling you how you can get prepared for the vorkath release on november 20th both skill wise and gp wise so let's talk about it. there are a few hard requirements you'll be needing for vorkath which i'm kind of assuming you already have 50 construction 10 sayer and 60 necromancy if for some magical reason you do not have these for construction follow the fourth quest line and build some things in your house and you should be fine for Slayer, literally get a task at any Slayer Master, and if you don't get the level, I would be very much surprised. And for Necromancy, the Lumber Catacomb Skeletons will do the trick till about level 50, and then switching over to Ankus, and you should be completely fine. There are also some quest requirements, Ancient Awakening, and all its prerequisites, which are pretty much all the fourth quest. And a friendly reminder, Vorkev is not Necromancy only, so even if you only have the 60 Necromancy requirement, you can still fight this boss. Now that we got all the boring stuff out of the way, let's get you up to speed to some of the methods you can use to get Vorkath ready. First and foremost, surprise surprise, 96 Herbal for Overloads is highly recommended. Overloads add such a huge DPS buff for absolutely no effort at all, so it is for sure worth grinding it out. Make sure to use portable wells, which you will most likely find in the Herbler section of the fort on pretty much any world during double experience. Your best bet for leveling would be protein shakes, but if you run out of those, I'd recommend making the highest tier super slash extreme potion that you can. It is always hard advising on Herbler, however, because prices change a lot and especially around double experience. So please check them carefully via the Grand Exchange. Just buy one of each supply, make a potion, sell it and see what the margin is. Another tip I do want to give, however, is that holding on to the supplies you're making might actually be worth it. It's kind of always worth it, but I understand that some people need cash straight away after double experience. But a lot of people will need overloads for Vorkath and having the extreme set stocked up in the bank or put in the GE for an amount that you're okay with might actually make you a little bit of profit or at least a bit less of a loss. Another great goal to go for is 92 prayer or even better 95 prayer for the damage boosting prayers. But be careful on how you train it because offering bones at an altar does not grant the double experience bonus. However, using Seren crystals in Priftiness or simply burying bones in the wilderness with brawling gloves that does give you the double experience bonus. So please keep that in mind. So it is up to you to figure out which method you want to do. Just don't do altars on double experience. Besides that, I just recommend you getting your combat stats to 99 if you haven't done so already. Range will most likely be your best bet because the beta looks good for the style and it might be the cheapest and most powerful option once those changes go live. They probably won't go live before Vorkav, so if you have a good necromancy setup, just go with that. But if you don't have a style yet, range might actually be decent to invest in. If you didn't follow the nerfs that happened to experience however during the necromancy launch, Elite Dungeons 3 trash runs are now literal trash, so don't do them. Your best bet would be AFKing in the Abyss, just like all times, for roughly 1.5 million experience an hour using chins on double experience. An alternative could be Shattered Worlds, farming world 70 till 80, and picking the Getting Pumped Relic to pump as many Dark Bow specs as possible. There weren't really experience rates on the wiki, but they are probably roughly the same as the Abyss, just a little bit more active. Yet again, another friendly reminder, Necromancy does not work with double experience yet due to its grace period, so don't waste your time training it. If you have seen any of my double experience videos before, you know that I always bang on about doing counterintuitive activities to what you should be doing during double experience. What I mean by that is, everyone is skilling, so provide supplies, or even better, a lot of people sell the gear to skill during double experience, which, by the way, Please don't ever do that. It's the worst thing you can do. Not only will you lose money on the gear itself, but the prices of the supplies you're making with that sold gear money will also be deflated and will only add to your loss. Gear makes you money, 99 crafting or fletching doesn't. Anyway, a good bet would be trying to do the bosses that will benefit people that will be taken on Vorkev on release. Try taking on bosses that can drop useful upgrades, Stinkily Dungeons for the Serenic slash Tectonic upgrades, and the Blackstone Hearts for the Undead slash Dragon Slayer codexes. But whatever you do, don't do bosses that mainly drop Herblore secondaries. Once double experience is over, everyone will be selling their supplies, so if you have a fat loot tap of those, they're probably gonna be worthless. One thing that won't be worthless is doing something like Armadillo or Vindicta. The components that the items that they drop have are needed to get some of the most powerful invention perks in the game and with Vorkev dropping new gear, people will need new perks and those items will go up in price again. So even if they are lower tier bosses, you can still make a lot of money with a little bit of a lower skill level. So that is all for this video. 
Those are some quick tips on how you can become rich of this double experience or get ready to be able to take on Vorkath. If you did enjoy this video, consider giving it a like and subscribe if you are new. We are trying to get to 5k by the end of the year and I would really appreciate it if you click that subscribe button, obviously the like button as well. And good luck grinding. My name is Chevalric and I'll see you guys in my next video.